Hey guys, Air Guitar here, and I'm going to do a lesson on the passing of seasons. That's a song I just wrote. It's kind of a more mellow, classical type song. Um, the passing of seasons is from summer to fall, and so I'll show you the summer part. That's kind of more of an upbeat part. So it's in C, and the first riff starts out like this. You see that twice, so. And that's the first riff. And then the second one. That's slower. So I'll show you the first riff. So it starts, you know, on the third fret of the A. Without pick. And then right after that, open D. And then hammer on with your middle finger to the second fret and your third finger to the third fret. So we have. And you want to make that quick. So, like that. And then right afterwards, you take your pick, if you can look at my pick, do an up pick. And it's just a quick hammer on the pull off. So, with your, you can do first finger, but the way uh, the way the pattern um, finishes, you might need your middle finger just to do it. So we have, so that's a pull off, hammer on pull off on the second fret. And then, after that, you, uh, this third fret on the fourth string, second fret on the D string, and then hammering on to the next fret, and then up pick on the G string, down pick on the third fret of the D string, so, and then up pick the open D string, and then down pick for on the second fret of the D string, and then hammer on and pull off from the third fret back to the second. So good. So the picking is kind of tricky in this part. You can watch my pick when I do it slowly, and just get a feel for it. Just kind of get it nice and light because it's summer. So yeah. <laughs> so the next part, um, you're doing the first four notes. Um, so it starts on the fifth fret of the third string. Uh, hammer on to the seventh fret. Up pick on the B string, so it's the fifth fret. So down pick, up pick the fifth fret. So and then hammer on to the sixth fret. So we have and then take your pinky or your ring finger. I don't care, but whatever suits you. And do. Uh, three quick pull-offs. And you can kind of just hammer on into the pull-offs. So watch my hand. So. So it goes. And then take your uh, pinky. And you're hammering on. And then from there, just... Just um, pull off. So this is eight to six to five, and just repeat that three times. And then right here, hammer on to six, pull off to five, slide down to the third fret, and then hammer back on to the fifth. So. And you want to make it as quick as possible with the tempo of the song. I mean, there's not really a tempo at this part, 
this stage of the song, but you kind of have to pause and then replay it. And then you wait, and then right here, so it's so you start. You're gonna be playing the G string with your pick, and you're gonna be using your middle finger to lightly pluck the E string. So like that. These two fingers. So place your middle finger on the ninth fret of the G string, and your first finger on the eighth fret of the E string. So and you want to kind of pluck lightly. You don't want to have it be harsh. You just want to have it be lightly. So. And right after you pick it, you want to mute it with your hand, so, like that. So after this chord, we just, oh yeah, sorry, we're using these two. And it's just, it's on the 7th fret, and you just play it with both, on both strings. So, and then same thing, you just move it down a fret, it's on the 5th fret. Sorry, this is on the 7th fret, not 5, so. And then you you go back to this shape, but it's down here, so it's 4th fret of the G string, and 3rd fret of the E string. Move it down 2 frets. And then just play open. Open G and E. And then move down. A string so you're playing the B and the D now and it's the same frets as this shape so that'd be 4 in the D 3 in the B and then move down and use these two fingers oh or not nope you don't use them just go down two frets okay so I'll play it slowly so these two fingers these two fingers, these two fingers, same these two fingers, no, oh yeah, open, So open, and then D and the B, and then these two fingers at the end, so. That's what you want. And then, this turns into the fall part of the song. Um, and if you don't get that last part, it was pretty confusing. You can skip back in the video and look what I'm doing, and that'll probably help you guys. So. The fall part is and then it repeats itself from there. So this part's kind of tricky. You're still you're using your pick, and that's going to be playing the bass notes like that. And then these two fingers will be playing the little open notes. So it starts out, you just play a C chord. That's not actually for the song. And then just take away your middle finger. And that's your chord. And you, so pluck, one, two, one, two, one. So it's pick. And then, so it's down. finger on the G and put your pinky and your third finger on the third fret of B and E and then this part's kind of tricky move your take your pinky and put it on the eighth fret 
and put your first finger and second finger, your first finger on the fifth fret of the E, and your second finger on the sixth fret of the B. So just put that one one sequence. And then first finger on the fifth fret of the A. Your pinky's going on the seventh fret of the G and your ring finger is going on the eighth, sixth fret of the B. So and then keep these two here and move your first finger down to here to the third fret of the E. It's a pretty big stretch, but I can just get it so you probably can because I have small hands. So and then you end it there and it repeats itself. Oh yeah, you need a loop pedal for this part. Or just someone else playing this part. And then you loop another part on top of this. So So that's the part that you go on top of it. So it starts on the 3rd fret and then move up to the 5th fret, so... And move up to 7. And then slide with this finger... Up to the 10th fret, so... Sorry. And slide back to 7. And then... Uh, pick... To the 5th fret, so... And then back to 7 and then slide up two positions. So, pick slide up to 10, pick slide up to 12, and then 10th fret of the D, and then back to 12, back to 10 on the A. So, and then 12, 10 on the D, 12 on the A, 10 on the D, 12 on the D, 9 on the G, 12 on the G, so right here, ten, twelve, ten, twelve, ten, twelve. so 10, 12 on the A, 10, 12 on the D, 10 on the D, 12 on the A, 10, 12 on the D, on the G, 9 on the G, 12 on the D, 9, 12 on the G, 10, 13 on the B, 10, 13, 10 on the E, and 12 on the E. So I'll play it slowly. And add some vibrato, and then down to 10, so 10, and then to 8, 7, 5, 3, and then slide from 3 to 5 on the B string to finish it off. And that's some vibrato. So we're going to start here. It's a quick slide. Or just medium, actually. So. And that's how that part goes.